Hi, this is my day 12 video for the LD Vid 30 challenge. This one was inspired by a, a request or something that happened from a colleague of mine um, overseas. She's in the States. And just on Thursday, she wanted to send me some screenshots and she ended up sending them in a Word document. And there were about a dozen different uh, screenshots in there and I needed to get them out for the, the storyline course I'm making at the moment or one of the projects I'm working on. And I thought, oh, it's, um, it's a bit difficult to deal with the pictures. Like you can open the Word document and right click on them and individually save them, but that's a bit slow. And I thought, a oh, better way to do it is this tip I'd heard of some time ago. Um, and rather than use the screenshots that she sent, because they're, they're um, sort of privileged information, I thought I'd just use some photos of my Elder son. This is him, obviously, when he was very young, um, but it's actually his 21st birthday party today, so it's going on in the background still. You might be able to hear some of the noise in the background, so hence the headset for this recording. Anyway, a, a good tip for getting screenshots or other graphics out of either a Word document or a PowerPoint file or even an Excel file if someone sent you them in that format. Um, provided it's a relatively recent format, so for example a docx file or a pptx file, uh, one of the recent formats, um, you can just save the file in as an HTML file. So in HTML format. So let's do that. So I'll go file save as and choose web document, web page, I think they call it. Yeah, here it is and save that and then you might be able to see at the top in the title bar it says the file name.htm now so this is the HTML version but what you can do then is go to Windows Explorer so what it's done is create that HTML file and then it's created a folder uh, with all the graphics from the document in there. So here they are, they're all saved as individual JPEG files. Um, so that's a much quicker way to get the files out of the document or out of a PowerPoint file, as I say. So that's one way of doing it. Save as an HTML or web page format. The other way, I'm going to just go back to that previous folder, is you can actually open Word documents or PowerPoint files uh, just as a zip file. So the second way of getting the graphics out of it is if I take a copy of that just as a backup and then I'll rename the copy from docx in this case for a Word document to just dot zip and say yes to the warning. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes I am. So now I can op I've opened that zip file and then go to the folder called Word, I think it is, and Media, and then there are the, the image files again separately as JPEGs. So there you have it, two different ways to either save a Word file or a, a PowerPoint deck where you want to get the images or the screenshots, whatever it is, out of it, save it. The first method was save as a web page, or second method, take a backup copy, then rename the backup as .zip, and you can just open it and get the files that way. So there you go. I hope you find that useful when you next need to get screenshots or other graphics out of a document. Thanks for watching. See you later.